So now we need the ability to edit events. If a user names their event wrong, they need to be able to change it. And we're going to add a edit button. And the edit button, thankfully for us, is not going to be hardly any different from the actual club edit button. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, copy this edit club form, and then I'm gonna go into the event and I'm going to copy and paste it right after the create event. And this is going to be now be the event edit form. We'll just go through here and switch out all this stuff. Okay, so we need to edit it by the event. So this is not going to be a club ID. This is now going to be an event ID. Simple enough, so let's just go ahead here, call this event, and this is not going to be the club service, it's now going to be the event service. Looking good here, the only thing is that we are going to have to create a update event because we don't have one yet. We already have the event by ID in our service symbol, but we don't actually have one for our update. So we're gonna go find by event ID, and we should be able to get away with a lot here. We don't have to actually reinvent a lot. Let's just go ahead, get our form uh, loaded, get it looking good, and then we can actually start worrying about the post request. So we'll go here, we'll go events, edit, and this is supposed to be an event. Okay, and it's giving us the green squiggly line because we don't actually have the events edit in our templates. So let's go ahead and create one. So we're gonna to go to here and we're just going to call us what we named it in the controller. It'll be events edit. And don't worry about actually typing all this out. Really what you want to do, take your events create form. Don't copy the club edit form because it's not going to be the same fields. Copy the events create and you'll have a way easier time. But we're gonna go into the actual events list and we are going to go into here and that is the detail we don't want the detail we want the edit let's check what our event controller looks like as well too so we have events event id then we have edit and all we need to do is put that edit there and it should work so let's go ahead let's retry it i'm gonna go ahead press edit or refresh this make sure that works go ahead press edit and First time we've got our actual event edit form. So let's actually start working on our post. Okay, so next thing that we're gonna do is we are going to design the post endpoint. And if you're noticing why my webcam changed, it's because I just bought new lights and they are way too bright and hot and I had to turn them down and take off my jacket. So if you're wondering why I look different, that's what it is. All right, so next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead we're going to steal this post endpoint, this update update club from our club. We're going to put it inside of our event controller. And then instead of a create event, what we're going to have is a post event or an update event for uh, our event. So we're gonna go into here and we're going to have update event. And then we're just gonna go ahead and switch all this stuff out. So we'll have events. This is going to be an event ID and it's going to be edit. Go ahead, switch all this stuff out. Make this an event. Then we're gonna do the exact same thing right here. So we have event. Then we are going to have an event ID. And then we are also going to pass in the model right here so that we can get some validation and we will go back and fix the club validation as well too so we'll say model dot add attribute and we're going to add this event so it'll be event and then we're going to pass in the event and we need to change that to event okay so that is looking good we also need a uh, semicolon right here and this is going to be events edit it's going to be an event this is going to be an event. So an event ID, then we're going to have event service. So we'll have event service, and we don't have an update uh, event. So we're going to have to make one. So we'll go update event. And then we are going to pass into it our actual event. And we don't have it yet, so we have to actually create it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into here. I'm going to create a method called update event. And this is gonna be pretty simple from 
what we had before. So I don't remember how to uh, do an update just off the top of my head. So I'm just going to go in here and copy this and just repurpose it for the update club. And so I'm going to go into here. So we need an event right here. We also need an event right here. And we are going to pass in an event DTO and we're going to call this event DTO and we will go back and change this so that it actually does not break the interface. Okay. And it's going to be an event repository dot save. That looks good. And we need to map this to event. Okay, and I'm going to go inside my event service real quick and just go into here and change this. So it'd be event DTO. Okay, so that should do everything except that we need to go into the mappers and we need to add our clubs. So if you look into here, we don't have our club on any of our map to event, any of our mappers. So we need to go ahead and also add our club here. It's going to be event DTO and we are going to get club or uh yeah so event dto and we also need to add the club as well too so we're going to go into here we need to go into our event dto and add the club so we're going to go club and we're going to have club and that will make it so that we can map it over so we're going to go into here and we're going to say get club and we're going to do the exact same thing so it's going to be event dot get club and that looks good Okay, so let's go back into our event service impl. That looks good. Everything seems to be good to go. The only thing that we need to do now is there's two ways you can do this. And I went for the lazy loading way. So what you want to do is you're going to have to set the club each and every single time that you go into actually do the update. Otherwise, it's going to give you a error saying that you didn't you uh, added a null to the club so what you want to do is you want to go up to here and you want to make sure that you also have the actual club in there as well too otherwise it will show that it's not there so I'm going to go into here I'm going to go event ID and then I'm just going to pass in this event DTO and I'm going to get the club just like this and it will set the club. You could also just go into your actual event and set it for eager loading. You could do it that way too. So if you wanted to just set eager loading, you can just go into here and add eager loading to this. But I just went with lazy loading and just added the get club so that it will automatically get the club for us. So it doesn't give an error saying that you don't have the actual ID. And that should be good to go. So the last thing is that there are parts of our club controller that don't have uh, validation. I forgot the validation in some parts. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into here and add this validation as well too, since I just, I just forgot about it. It's, you know, common people just forget things, you know, so I'm just going to go into here, going to go club and this should add my, uh, validation to this. And we should be good to go. We can also, one other area is we could add validation to this create event up here as well too. So if I want to add validation to this, the only thing I'm, I would do is I'll go up here and go to the post mapping and we would reroute this to clubs edit. So, or clubs create since it's a create event. So clubs, Create. So if you want to add uh, validation to that, you could do that as well too, but you don't have to if you don't want to. That's like another thing. If you don't if you don't want to add validation, it's totally up to you. Okay, so I'm gonna go up to here and then I'm also going to add the binding result. Otherwise we won't be able to get access to the binding result has errors. I'm just gonna call this result. And then I'm gonna change this to event DTO. Okay, so now we have validation Let's go ahead and let's test this out to make sure that it works. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and go into here. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my events. I'm going to go to 
Let's just go to this one. Let's just edit this one. And I'm just gonna call this 5 a.m. marathon edit. And let's see what type of error that we got. Oh, post method is not supported. I need to go back into the actual events list and I need to edit this so that it actually works. So I'm gonna go into the events.edit and I'm going to change this events to the actual URL of where it's being updated. I forgot, I just forgot to do this, I'm sorry. Okay, so what you do is you go events and this is going to be an event ID. So we have event ID, we have an edit, we have the event ID, so we'll change this to event ID. Event ID, and this is going to be the event ID. Okay, that looks good. So let's go ahead into here. Let's just test this one more time to make sure that it is actually working. I'm just gonna test it with regular, not debug. So I'm gonna go into my events. I'm gonna go into my 5 a.m. marathon. I'm gonna call this 5 a.m. marathon uh, parentheses edit. And let me see here. It edited it, but it sent it to the wrong, um, it sent it back to the clubs. Very minor thing, but I'm just going to make it so that it uh, sends it back to the redirect and it sends it back to events. I don't think we need to refresh for that one, but this the update is looking good. Now we can finally move on to our delete. We will have all of our crud finished and then we can finally move on to the actual security part. Anyways, hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to smack that like button, smash that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.